Hey everyone, user Null here. Today, I would like to showcase my latest custom origin data pack, the Auto Maiden. The Automaiden is part of a line of redstone golems, built to serve as companions to a species long forgotten to time. Now, you are all that remains to carry their legacy. Now, right away, you will see that they view the world through a CRT television lens, so everything kind of feels like you're, you're playing a video game inside of a video game, and since it's a robot, I think that'd be kind of fitting. So if we look on our menu, we can see that our first ability is Anima Engine. You cannot consume food. Instead, you use fuel to keep your artificial spirit burning. Now to demonstrate this, I have some raw beef, and I'm clicking my, my mouse button, but I'm unable to eat it. And even if I switch to the carrots, vegetables, it won't work. So no normal food will be able to consume, unless it's golden apples or something like that, like potions. Um, instead, I can consume fuel, like coal, and that will refill my hunger meter. Now, if we look at our second ability, Do No Harm, this is a little hard for me to demonstrate since I'm in single player, but your programming forbids you from hurting others. Damage to players is completely nullified. You are unable to ignite TNT, attempt to sleep in the nether, or place end crystals. So, you're completely incapable of harming other players. You can attack mobs just fine, but as far as other players are concerned, you are pathetic. You can't fight them, you can't do anything to them. You're, you're a sitting duck, basically. But, I think that that may come in handy, because since you're a peaceful person, you're not a threat, and chances are they're gonna want you on your team for some of these other abilities. So, our third ability is Laser Array. You can press your secondary key, and that will cycle through three laser types. You can press your primary key to activate the laser, and your laser array will overheat after 10 seconds of constant use. So, let's test that out right now. I can use my secondary key and swap through three different options. I've got Medical Beam, Mining Laser, and Laser Shield. So, let's test them all out. So the medical beam allows us to heal players, mobs, any entity, really. So if I summon a pig uh, a couple blocks above me so it will get hurt. Where is it? Oh, I, I think I spawned it a bit too high. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's way too high. <laughs> All right, let's try just 10 blocks. There we go. Now... It's a little hard to see because I don't have any mobs that show how many hearts it has, but a neat trick is since I'm in create mod, which this is meant to mesh with, I can create a, uh, a set of engineer's goggles, and that will actually allow me to see whether something is at max health or not. So this entity is glowing, which means it needs to be healed. So if I press my primary key, I'll shoot out a laser beam. And that laser beam will heal any entity that it gets in its path. You'll also notice that it had hearts light up, which means that it was set in love, and I can I can do that again with another pig, and this will actually work as a uh, foodless way to breed mobs. See? There's a little baby pig. Let's see what else we can do. We also have a mining laser which I'm gonna test over here, next to some blocks that I don't mind getting destroyed. So, our mining laser will break blocks, obviously, and it'll do this at, a, it used to go a lot faster, it used to mine blocks instantly, but I, I, I nerfed it recently so that it was a little more balanced on multiplayer servers. I'm not pressing, I'm not pressing my right click, this is, this is just, just just my primary key for the origins mod it'll dig and it'll keep on digging it'll mine any block within 64 
blocks, so it does have a limit. It can't just mine at the end of the earth. Like, for example, I don't think I'll be able to mine the blocks on this tree. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe one was in range. But this, which is much closer, I definitely can. Um, now, it will drop every single item that it hits. And this is uh, great. Uh, well, as long as, as long as it's an actual solid block. Um, this is great because it means you don't really need a pickaxe. The only blocks it can't break is bedrock, obsidian, anything a phantom couldn't phase through. Um, but it'll it'll mine uh, glass, I believe, without silk touch. No, I don't think that. I don't think it will actually. Yeah, no, it'll just go straight through. <laughs> but it's it's still a really really fun way to to change up the play style just a little bit so that it isn't too overwhelming but it, it's really fun um eventually though it will overheat so if i just hold this down for 10 seconds and uh, any any of the uh any of the different uh, lasers will do this eventually it'll overheat oh sorry i'm getting damaged by the water and when it overheats i can unleash that heat as a big powerful blast which actually will damage other players so last line of defense if you really need it um and our final ability is laser shield so i'm gonna summon in some threats right now here's a husk who's gonna definitely want to eat me uh, i can switch to my laser shield and if i sneak and hold my primary at the same time this big old hexa hexagonal shield will appear any mobs that get close will slowly get damaged and they'll continue to, to burn a little bit even after. Uh, this will also destroy any projectiles. So if I summon a skeleton and quickly run away, see the he's shooting arrows at me, but they're just disappearing. He cannot touch me. Well, now he can, but not if I hit him first. Ow. All right. Now let's see what else we've got on the menu. So if we scroll down past her laser array, overcharge already went over that. Uh, we have metallic plating. Uh, your steel body protects you slightly from direct damage like melee attacks, explosions, and projectiles. So you're just naturally a little more resistant. Uh, it's just plus 15 conditional damage resistance. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, you're also conductive. Uh, you might have saw that earlier when I landed in the water, I started to take damage. Uh, your circuits will be fried when exposed to water and will take extra damage when struck with lightning, so be careful. Now, this one is definitely dependent on a couple things. Uh, one, you have to have Create Mod, and two, you have to have another data pack uh, made by uh, Hazaret, so you'll probably have to hit them up if you want to get access to this. But you, ha there's a... Uh, engineer class uh, that meshes with the create mod if you're an engineer when you're holding a wrench you can deal damage to other players and you can also since you're an engineer you can also place enchantments like uh, sword enchants on the wrench so you can attack people with sharpness with a wrench it's pretty cool um, and yeah even as an auto maiden which normally can't attack other players if you're holding that wrench you can and it's pretty awesome um, PhD if you are a cleric, your lasers last longer without overheating, but also take longer to cool down and overgrown. If you're a farmer, you do not take damage from water and you gain a speed boost from the sun. So yeah, you obviously, you need to have Origins classes in order for, for this power to work. If you don't have it, you can just ignore this entirely. Um, um, but let me show off Farmer, which is really cool because, let me give myself a orb here we go ow back off man all right so i can switch to automated and i'm gonna be a farmer so you can see i get i get a speed boost because i'm in the sun and if i jump in this water i will not die so that's definitely a big bonus. Oh, look at this. Skeleton's damaged. It wants me to heal it. Not gonna happen, man. Not gonna happen. You can stay dead. Let me, uh... Oops. 
Let me try to kill it real quick. There we go. Nice. Oh, an ocelot. How cute. So yeah, that's uh, Auto Maiden. Uh, I'll... <laughs> I've got a couple arrows in me. Um, I also made a, a couple uh, custom figura models. So this this is the one for farmer. It's got covered in moss, got a tree growing out of it. Um, and there's also just a, a rusted out version. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, um, the model files, the origin, the any other necessary add-ons you'll need, they'll be in the description below. I'll have a Planet Minecraft page for this origin if you're interested. And yeah, it's public domain. You can use it on whatever you want. You could play it on your single player. You can use it for your multiplayer server. You don't even need to ask me for permission. All of my origins will forever be in the public domain. They belong to you as much as they belong to me. Now, well, that's all I really have to say today. Um, I'm going to be uploading a couple more videos uh, sometime soon. I've got uh, lots of other origins I made. Um, let me let me give myself another orb so I can so I can show you. Um, I also made creep folk, which is a, a, a creeper origin, obviously. Uh, we've got ornikin, which is a platypus, mushinja, which is a mushroom ninja, and automaton. So yeah. That's it for today. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to. I can't make you do anything you don't want to. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy these videos. I know uh, my Origins data packs is what got most of my subscribers in the first place. So hopefully uh, this is a refreshing thing to see after so long. Um, I hope you all have a good day. And yeah, catch you later. Bye-bye.